When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you where you refer to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. What is happening y'all? Back here with another video. I just wanted to let everybody know in this video that you are about to watch, uh, not only have I asked for verbal permission from both a uh, customer and the receiver, I've also gotten uh, a written email approval sent to my email address giving me full permission to record on their property. Moving forward, since I have an issue with a select few, or I should say a select two people here that work in-house with Prime who are trying to cause problems uh, with my YouTube channel, which with my videos I have done nothing wrong as far as a safety perspective is concerned. And every customer that I go to, I always get a verbal authorization moving forward. I'm also, since I'm building relationships with these customers, I'm also gonna be asking for an email sent to me directly, giving me permission to record on their property, uh, which the last video that I did put out, I did have that information. I've already sent the email over to my dispatcher, so we are good. So I would suggest to anybody who starts driving for Prime, if you were gonna be doing truck vlogging, they're okay with it, but to CYA, to cover your you know what, make sure not only that you get a verbal approval, but get a email approval from a business office manager, one of the employees, so that way you're covering yourself, so that way there's no issues. Because not once have I had safety contact me directly, this stuff is coming directly from my dispatcher. And the email that I got, let me actually read this off to you. This is the email I got from my dispatcher. Have you taken down all your videos you made at Prime Customers? If not, all of them need to be removed from social media. We received a complaint. Uh, we received a complaint from Red Collar. They saw your video. I can't stress the importance of no filming Prime Customers properties. Do you understand? Question mark. And this was a little bit confusing to me because I had got not only a verbal approval, but I also got an email from one of the in-house employees confirming that I can record on their property. So a light bulb went off in my head. This is not a customer who's having an issue with my videos. This is actually a prime employee and I think I know exactly who it is. And you know, it's very, I mean, it's very unfortunate, but I'm covered, it's no big deal. I already got approval from both customer and an email confirmation stating that I can record on their property. So this, this email that I got from my dispatcher, I knew that this was not a customer complaining about my videos because I had already gotten approval. This is an in-house employee who is trying to cause a problem with my channel, but I wasn't born yesterday. You know who you are and you're still watching my stuff. And I had to block you because everything that you said was just negative about my channel, which I don't understand telling me that every one of my videos, you're doing something wrong. Like, really, but you're watching them? That don't make sense. Hey, anyway, so this is just how I'm gonna, uh, moving forward, That how I'm gonna be uh, dealing with the haters. So it is what it is, man. Let's keep trucking. Yeah, this is a pretty dense fog. This place at this receiver, whenever you get here, uh, you have to call them with your order number, the product and all that stuff. So I am currently on their scale. Hey, hey, hey buddy, let me call you right back. I, I just pulled up to the Jam Schmuckers here in Meadville. I gotta call these people. I just hopped on their scale. Let me call you right back. All right, I'll call you right back, bye. Oh uh, yeah, this is uh this is Rex. I'm on a I'm on the scale right now. I got some uh, chicken fat. I'm in a prime tanker. Yeah, PO number is nine eight two two eight zero dash two one dash one zero eight. Okay. All right. Thank you. Twenty one dash one zero eight. Oh yeah, I have yeah I have all my paperwork. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye. This lady that I talked to. She's telling me that that they don't have my they don't have my uh, uh, paperwork with this PO that I have here. Uh, yeah, I wrote down I wrote down the right one. Yeah, twenty one dash one zero eight. And 
they're saying that that's not they don't have this load or this po number so they come out sir you drove 500 miles in the wrong direction you're at the wrong plant what no yeah i got yeah i got everything right here so i had to back it up just now to back up my truck so they're going to get a sample from the top it looks like and here i jam schmuckers in meanville pennsylvania super nice people you have to drop your airbags when you're on the scale so that way they can get a sample they just want to make sure that the truck doesn't move when they're getting a sample so they'll actually have you set your trailer brakes on the scale and then you'll hop out of the truck and take off your red air hose so they can put a lock on it so your truck doesn't move it's just a safety thing that they do here so it's completely fine okay let's uh let's move this here so select yard movement all right come here yard movement give this a second to uh i let my airbags fill back up here I'm pulling here off their scale right now so i got waiting they told me to just go they told me to pull around back and park in the lot until they uh until they call me and they're ready for me to start unloading so i'm gonna go park over here toward the end of the lot by this other tanker and it looks like they're redoing a lot of this building. Uh, yeah, this uh, this looks really nice compared to first time I've been here. They redid this whole outside. Yeah, it's really nice over here now. All right, so now I'm just gonna park. Um, well, with me delivering chicken fat, um, I'm probably gonna have to pump pump it off into this other tanker that's over here sitting. This is going to be the fun fun part. Let me get lined up over here too. That should be good right there. All right, now we just wait. It's a little warm today. I had to turn my air conditioner on. Earlier today, I, I probably met the worst, uh, worst restroom stall. I mean, this thing was pretty much marked up everywhere. I ended up staying here overnight. I just got up not too long ago, brushed my teeth. And there's another tanker. He, uh, he's actually leaving. He was parked uh, right next to me yesterday whenever I got here at like 3.30, I believe, is when I got here, 3.30 or 4. When I got up, he was over here getting unloaded. Now, I believe based on where he was parked at, he had digest. I got chicken fat, so I'm gonna be getting unloaded in a different area. So hopefully somebody calls me soon. This is called the waiting game. <laughs> just eating a little bit of cereal still waiting for them to give me a shout so i took my took my vitamins my daily vitamins and uh so after i get unloaded if my pre-plan doesn't change i'll be taking my trailer to get washed out at oj's oj's tank wash in lancaster pennsylvania i'll be doing a uh drop and hook in woodridge at uh new newberg egg i believe it's yeah i believe newberg egg i'll be picking up a load of eggs and then that's going to spencer iowa place we go to a lot as much as i don't really care to pick up in woodridge new york i want to go to spencer iowa and drop that load off because then there's a walmart in spencer iowa that i can fit my my uh trailer and my truck in so hopefully it all works out if not excuse me i'm over here trying to eat <laughs> i'm over here trying to eat talk but if they change my pre-plan no big deal i kind of have a feeling that they're going to change my pre-plan because that was sent to me yesterday and i got here yesterday at 3 34 o'clock and now it's the next day it is uh 903 in the morning so I got something new for you well, it's not really new. You are going to do this sometimes. Not very often you're going to do this whenever you're working on the tanker side, but it, it will, you will come across this. So let me show you. As you can see, my tanker, I'm pumping off. I'm all hooked up over here on my side. And the hose, I got my pump, my pump is running. And we are hooked to the outlet on another tanker. I've done this a few times, but not all the time. A lot of the times you're gonna be hooking up to outlets on the side of buildings and they're gonna be going into stylos. Uh, but this chicken fat is going into another company's trailer. I just wanted to show y'all that. So right now I am currently pumping off and it only took them 26 hours to finally get me checked in so I could pump off my trailer. But I didn't stress out about it. I wasn't rushing them. And you have to learn patience sometimes. So, and patience, I have learned but it's all good we're getting unloaded now and uh, i don't know where i'm getting washed out yet because it depends on how much how much heel is left in, the, in my tanker i believe there's going to be some so if that's the case i'll be going to oj's tank wash in lancaster if not my dispatcher gave me another tank wash that i could go to that would be a little bit closer 
to the next shipper. All right, so I'm gonna put on the screen, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put a screenshot up here so you can look at it. This is actually my next pre-plan. I did not know on the inedible side that you go to the Newark, New Jersey port. So if my pre-plan holds true, that's where I'll be headed next. Fun, fun, fun. Well, I've been there, so I kind of know what to expect, but it is actually a different place at the Newark, New Jersey port. So it's all good. Something new, let's do it. Yeah, so right over this dumpster on the other side back there, that's where I was basically waiting at for 26 hours, guys. Yeah, 26 hours, that's it. <laughs> I'm just being funny, I'm just, but no, seriously, I was waiting over there on the other side of the dumpster for 26 hours, waiting for them to call me and tell me my sample was good and that I could hook up and start getting unloaded. So after I get done unloading my trailer, I'm gonna have to actually hop back on their scale so they can get the empty weight on it and then they'll give me my paperwork so we can keep rolling. After you get unloaded, you gotta hop on their scale. Now I'm about to call them right now to let them know I'm on the scale. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, prime uh, tanker chicken fat. I just uh, got done, finished getting unloaded. I'm on the scale. All right, thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. I think I got something in my eye. All right, so they're gonna be out here in just a few minutes with my paperwork and then I'm gonna hop off the scale go around to their lot and do my depart uh depart call well i'm gonna submit my paperwork and then do my depart call oh before i forget i need to i need to write my trailer number on my trip sheet and i need to write today's uh date for delivery and trailer number was mt9866 there we go now i'm just gonna wait for them to bring me my paperwork all righty thank you have a great day you too all right, so they had already given my bills last time. The, this is a paperwork, the bills and the weigh ticket. And then I just got their confirmation of delivery here. It's got the weight on it as well. So I'll submit this with my bills. Let's get off the scale, y'all. I got some trash to throw away because I basically was camping here for the last 28, 29 hours. They must be extending this lot because before this lot was always always full of trucks. So now it's kind of nice and open. So if you need to get turned around or something, you can. No, it looks like, yeah, they're, excuse me. Uh, they're extending their lot. I think I'm gonna go on the other side of these boys. These reefer and hoppers. All right, so I am actually gonna go on this side of this truck. All right, so I need to do my paperwork and do my report. After you get uh, uh, loaded and you get your paperwork on your trip sheet, it's gonna ask you how many pages. So uh, for me, it's gonna be five pages. This is one, page one is the trip sheet. Page two is the checkout ticket that they gave me. This is the wash ticket, this is three. Scale ticket is four, bill of lading is five. So it's gonna be five that I'm gonna send through and I'll actually show y'all up here on the screen how to submit this paperwork right now. I'm gonna go into the to the Prime app. I'm gonna go into the Prime app, go to the load. So I'm gonna click on this load here and then I'm gonna scroll down. The top part is the shipper. Keep scrolling to the underneath. This is the receiver. So I'm gonna go ahead and select trip documents. And uh, first thing I'm gonna send is the trip sheet. So I'm gonna select trip sheet and hit next. All right, so now I'm gonna hit next here on my screen. And you see how this is automatically highlighted in orange? It automatically, usually, usually fills around the paper, but if it doesn't, you can click it and drag it. You see that? You can click and drag it to fit the paper. And then now I'm just gonna hit next, hit send. I'm gonna go ahead and hit, hit yes, scan another, because I need to scan another document. So now I'm gonna go ahead and send this, uh, it doesn't matter what order you send these in. So now I'm gonna go ahead and, and send the, uh, select trailer wash, because this is the wash ticket that I'm gonna send. Now I'm gonna hit next. That's fine for me, hit next. And then now I'm gonna hit send again. Yes, scan another. Let me move my receipt. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and send their, this is their checkout slash scale ticket. So I'm gonna put this under scale ticket, even though I already have one. So I'm actually going to, so I'm gonna hit scale ticket, hit next. There we go. And then now I'm gonna rotate this. There we go, now I'm gonna hit next. That works for me, next. Send. Now we're gonna scan another. Now we wanna get 
the scale ticket from the shipper. So I'm going to hit scale ticket again, hit next. All right, so now we're going to hit next. And that looks good to me. Next, send. Yes, scan another. Now the last one is going to be the bill of lading. The bill of lading. I'm going to hit next. And this is how you do it every time, y'all. And then now I'm going to hit next. It's already filled the box. I don't need to click and drag it. Hit next, send. And then this time I'm going to hit no send batch. So now I've sent all my paperwork, right? So now what I got to do is my depart call. We're going to do that together right now. So I'm going to select done up here. Now we're going to go to depart. We're going to select depart. Any overage, shortage, or damage? No. Did you pay for unloading? No. Who unloaded? The driver did. I did. Driver. Keep going down. Total weight. I'm going to go off the shipper's scale ticket. Their net weight is 42980 And then I'm going to go underneath. Pieces is going to be one. The bill of lading is going to be right here on my paperwork, which is 73841. And then now I'm going to put... Uh, one of these seal numbers on here which is on the bill of lading so i'm going to put 915-987-987 bill signed by receiver was this a live unload yes now i'm going to hit done send that's it that's how you send the paperwork the next load let me uh let me start recording and i'll put it up here on the screen so here's the next load that i got it is a pickup in Port Newark, New Jersey, and it is delivering to Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri. So let's go ahead and click on this load. It gives me the total miles, 1,593. Total revenue is 3,847.26, and it breaks it all down for tolls, fuel surcharge, so all that's on there. I did not know the inedible side picks up at the Newark, New Jersey ports. I'm gonna go ahead and accept this load. All right, y'all, so I was doing a little bit of trip planning for my next trip. Uh, I gotta grab fuel, I gotta go to the tank wash, and then I gotta pick up at the shipper. So I gotta go to a TA in Lamar, Pennsylvania. That's where I'm gonna grab fuel. That's gonna be stop number one. Stop number two is gonna be OJ's tank wash in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. My last stop is gonna be the shipper in uh, Newark, New Jersey. Well, one of the tanker terminals there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and hit done on here. Since I got all my stops that I need to go to, I'm gonna hit done. It's gonna calculate my route for me. So there we go, 482 miles total, eight hours and 55 minutes of drive time. So I'm gonna get my full 70 hour clock back. I've been, so basically I've been running on recaps. I only have six hours left today. I've basically been waiting here all day and I barely got unloaded, so I'm tired. So if I just wait till two o'clock in the morning, I'm gonna get my full 70 hour clock back. So I'm actually gonna brush my teeth right now and I'm gonna call it a night. Yeah, I'm gonna probably get up about three o'clock in the morning and then that way I'm gonna grab some, uh, grab fuel. And then by the time I get to OJ's, it should be about eight o'clock in the morning and they, they open like at seven. So, but yeah, that's kind of like my little, my trip planning right here. So, yep. All right, so I just stopped at this, um, where the heck am I? Oh, Speedway. I'm at a Speedway uh, truck stop. I stopped at a quick fill right over here across the street or on the other side of the freeway over here on the 80. And uh, yeah, they, it was like a probably an older truck stop. The, the lot was really bad. I tossed some trash and I went in to go see if they had any coffee and they didn't, they were closed. And our lights were on, but they were closed. So I just threw my trash and then had to come across the freeway here and uh... oh, that's hot. And that's bold, that's good. I like it dark and bold. But so I, I had to get me a, had to get me a little coffee. You already know what time it was. Coffee time, baby. And I need a little breakfast sandwich. Oh dang! Is my donut all smashed? I know, I know, Rex. You shouldn't be eating all of, you shouldn't be eating a lot of sugar on the road, Rex. I know, I know. So last night I was waiting for my dispatcher to message me back because he wanted me to go to uh, a Koala tank wash if I didn't have any heel left. So it looked like there was a little bit of heel left. So I sent him a picture, but he was already off. So it took him a few hours to get back to me, which is no big deal. So that's why I ended up shutting down early and. He messaged me uh, late last night and told me I was good to go to that wash he wanted me to go to, the Koala wash, which actually is gonna save me about 55 minutes of driving, so I'll be spending less fuel and less driving so I can get to the shipper quicker. So uh, I appreciate him uh, messaging me back. Uh, what time is it? It's 5.25 in the morning, but I was rolling at 
I was rolling at 430, so I'm right up the street from this tank wash, so hopefully I can hit this Dollar General up and restock my truck up. Dollar General is still cheaper than buying truck stop food and stuff like that, so let's hit it. All right, guys, we made it over here to this Koala tank wash. All right, let me, let me straighten this bad boy, this trailer out so we can get this bad boy dropped here. See, am I oversteering it? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, I'm gonna angle it back just a little bit more to the right. Left. Yeah, when you're backing up and you want your trailer to go to the right, you just give it give the steering wheel a little left. If you want it to go left, you just give the steering wheel a little bit of a little bit of right. Alright, I think we're I think we're backing her backing her up real nice and slowing steady and let me back up just a little bit more all right that's gonna be good right there boy all right so now i'm just gonna get this trailer dropped and then uh we're gonna go in here and check in uh i've been here one other time but i was in training last time i was in my tnt training i gotta move my donut i was in tnt training last time so i don't remember if i needed the previous bills but I'm just going to go ahead and, and grab the previous bill of lading and bring it in with me uh, and check in here. Check my trailer in. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're open. They said they opened at 5 o'clock. It is uh, 6.02 right now. So hopefully they can get it washed soon and then, uh, then continue to hit the road. Let me turn my lights off first. I was just heading over to this Dollar General and I got an email from my dispatcher. So this tank wash now wants to charge like $275. I'll put... Uh, the screenshot up here but so they want to charge for the hill i mean it didn't look like a lot of hill to me i'll put the pictures of the hill up too uh, so they want to charge additional amounts and um so now i got to go to a different tank wash now my trailer is currently in their bay right now so i'm gonna go talk to them and ask them to take the trailer out of the bay so i can hook up and then so i basically just wasted about three hours on my day but it's all good we're gonna keep going y'all <laughs> all right so i'm hooked back up to my trailer right now they dropped it right out here for me note to self after i deliver to schmuckers in meadville pennsylvania do not come to this wash because they're going to charge me extra for hill because i pumped out as much as i could and there was only a little bit of heel left in the trailer and they're saying 40 50 gallons so they wanted me to go to oj's in new jersey i've been there it is a pain even though i'm going to the newark new jersey ports or newark new jersey ports I asked dispatch if I could just go to the OJs and Lancasters. Y'all have to drive a little bit longer, 45 minutes or so, but I would rather drive a little bit longer, use more of my clock and a little bit more fuel than have to deal with uh, the New Jersey OJs tank wash. So that's where I'm going now. Now I know anytime I deliver to Smuckers in Meadville, Pennsylvania, I will not be coming to this Koala wash here in Parker, Pennsylvania. Well, unfortunately I couldn't get washed out, but at least I got some pretty, uh, at least I get some pretty scenery driving through here. back on the freeway and continue this journey and boy i'm so excited i'm jumping out of my shoes to 80 uh i'm so excited that i'm jumping out of my shoes right now after 1000 feet turn yeah traffic's been backed up for a few miles and this looks like uh this looks like the accident slash crime scene. Oh 
Oh, wow. Not good. All right, we're grabbing some fuel here in uh, Lamar at the TV. Oh, hopefully this will reach. Hopefully this will reach. Ooh, Ooh I got luck in there. I want to show y'all a trick real quick. In the summer time, in the warmer months, you're going to start running into a lot of bugs. I'm going to show you a little trick. Keep you some. Dawn liquid dish soap, not hand soap, Dawn liquid dish soap. What you're gonna do, you're gonna put some of this soap right on this squeegee here. It'll make getting these bugs off a lot easier. Just slap it around a little bit like this. The squeegee kind of sucks. My trainer taught me this. Sean, shout out to Sean, buddy. Shout out to you, boy. This definitely makes my life easier with getting these bugs off the windshield. A little soap trick. The squeegee kind of sucks, but... And we'll get most of these bugs off. Yeah, that's good enough. Get my side side windows all cleaned up here. It's getting a little windy out here. Ooh, nice and get that nice and uh, clean. There we go. This is like a new one. This is stiff. This isn't really that dirty, but this makes life easier when you can see. Right, there we go and i'll put my little soapy soapy soap back i don't think this place has any food any food in it other than they might have a little mini restaurant in here but i'm gonna go parker up here but yeah look see how much better my my uh, windows and windshield look so much better let's go pull forward and i need to go inside and use a use the bathroom go Parker oh yeah so much better <laughs> yeah my windshield was pretty pretty bad the scrubber that uh squeegee was like brand new it's hard for me to oh look at this part look at this spot right here look at that wow look at that boy also things that will happen let me turn this uh, camera here just let me turn it a little bit I'm gonna put this uh, up there on the screen so my appointment actually changed for this load so I'm actually gonna go into hold on let me pull it up here let me go back to prime I'm gonna hit the three lines I'm gonna put it up here on the screen and I'm gonna go to where it says messages and where it says appointment for trip and it shows the trip number I'm gonna click on that my appointment is now instead of being for the 11th it actually got pushed back to the 12th because I'm currently behind now since there was extra hill in my trailer and they were gonna charge like $295 extra to wash it out. Primate asked me to go to another tank wash, which I'm doing, but now this is putting me behind for this load. So now they're pushing this load out another day. So these things will happen. So I won't, I won't uh, get picked. Uh, Hang on, let me turn my CV down. I won't be able to uh, get loaded today. I'm actually gonna get loaded tomorrow. So now that I know my appointment got pushed back, now I'm not gonna sit here and just try to rush, 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 rush. Uh, there's no sense in me rushing to get to the, the tank wash to get it washed out when I'm basically gonna be staying there. Yeah, that's just, uh, you know, when things like this happen, it's no big deal. It's no big deal. I mean, these things are gonna happen whenever you're trucking. Whenever you start going through the PSD training uh, with Prime and you're gonna get your license through Prime, you're gonna start off with a green ID badge. Once you get your actual so once the day that you test out and you pass your cdl license you got to fill out paperwork you got to fill out stuff for your twit card and things like that and prime's going to walk you through all that stuff uh prime's really good about that and you know also your psd trainer you know 
can kind of give you some guidance as well, but it's pretty self-explanatory. They give you a paper and tells you exactly where to go, what buildings to go to, what times to go to, to take care of everything, like your Twit car and your paperwork. And then they're gonna send you, uh, either you're gonna drive back home or they're gonna send you back home to your local state, so that way you can actually go to a DMV to get your actual physical license. Now, once you get back to Prime with your actual, they'll give you, you actually get a paper, you might get a paper depending on the state, or I don't know, they might give you your actual CDL license that same day. To the state of Missouri, after I passed my CDL license test with Prime, since I live in Springfield, Missouri, and that's where I tested out, I just went about 20 minutes, 15 minutes up the street that same day, and they gave me a paper uh, license until my permanent one came in. I went back to Prime that same day, after I tested out and passed, and then Prime gave me a purple ID badge. That means your, that is your actual hire date. The date that you get your CDL license is your actual hire date. And then you'll get a purple ID badge. This is used to make fuel purchases or if you need to buy, uh, let's say, you know, anti-gel for the winter, uh, you know, fuel additives for your truck, you know, things at the truck stop that are for your truck. You know, if you need to buy a bottle of grease or something like that, this is what you use. It doesn't actually come out of your pocket. Now, Prime, all of your charges for all your fuel, all your additives throughout the week will get deducted from your paycheck on Friday. So that's how uh, the fuel, you know, the fuel process and buying fuel additives and things for your truck from truck stops, you can use your actual ID badge, which is actual credit card, and then Prime will deduct your paycheck at the end of the week. So I hope that's helpful for somebody. I don't think I've mentioned that before. And I believe somebody asked me to put this in a video. So uh, I apologize, I don't remember who, but thank you. Uh, you know, any, you know, if, if y'all want me to mention something or talk about something, I will do my best uh, and, and I'll try to put it in a video for you. So uh, I'm still relatively new. I'm trying to figure it out, but I just made this channel, uh, you know, to share my journey and you know it's starting to grow a little bit and i appreciate all my subscribers i just want to help other truckers out you know people that want to come through you know the prime training program or even if it's somewhere else you know and you want to you know hop on my channel along for the ride and i'm just uh i make mistakes along the way i own up to those mistakes but uh you know i, I always do my best to communicate uh communicate well and i just want to be helpful to other drivers you know because there's power in numbers and you know the sooner people realize that the better it just will be for everybody in the world is there's power in numbers like we can all come together and you know help each other out you know i don't know everything and i've gotten great pointers from other people my uh you know uh you know my trainer my psg trainer mike my tnt trainer sean you know i pick their brains and i try to learn and you know and i'm still out here learning so i'm just trying to be helpful that's all just trying to be another trucker trying to be helpful to anyone that's new to the game uh so hop on the channel and let's go blast off like a rocket <laughs>